DTM Essentials has gone through a massive upgrade. Uh, we started with the crypto wallets and secure storage course, um, really laying the foundation for self storage, self custody, and then FTX happened, and then you know the U.S. global, U.S. and global banking crisis started happening. Um, we just really wanted to crank things up a notch. Justin and I have spent a lot of time, invested thousands of hours into learning how to stay away from these centralized points of failure and really build a life that we don't need to compromise our beliefs or our integrity to live is the biggest thing. So that's where, you know, not relying on a bank account, not relying on any credit card to live a good life is really why we evolved it into bankless living and secure self storage. Uh, we've also added a beginner DeFi course. So DeFi and privacy protection is the second course that we've included. And then working on NFTs is the third. So there's a lot coming down the line. It's not necessarily for everybody, but there's going to be something here, at least something small that you're going to love, appreciate, and be able to implement into your life in real time and see some big results. So there's the NFTs and minting marketplaces, the decentralized finance and privacy protection, the announcements channel, and then we've got DTM Essentials itself. I just wanted to cover the secure live, uh, secure storage here. There is a lot of videos. This has completely been revamped, so uh, this is all included. It's been everyone here that came in with the pre-sale has been granted the courses. Uh, the big thing I wanted to point out was some of the documents. So module one through uh, three, and then some more for DTM Essentials itself. The portfolio uh, cheat sheet is one that has been under request for a long time. So a lot of what we get asked is, depending on who I am, am I an investor, am I a trader, am I conservative or what? How am I repositioning my portfolio after I've got all my coin off of exchange? Bankless Living has really hit its stride. It is pretty much capped off at this point in time. We're going to continue working, obviously, behind the scenes, updating everything. But for the most part, it's pretty much dialed in. So we're at where we need to be with that. And uh, the big next step is really just decentralized finance and privacy protection. So um, this is where myself and Justin, I know for sure, been living in the last few years. So Bitcoin paved the way for peer-to-peer -peer payments. Ethereum laid the foundation on which we can build decentralized network of opportunities and solutions for the entire world instead of just the group of banking elites. But what we cover here is growing your portfolio with confidence and protecting your privacy. So cutting edge tools and techniques that we use ourselves to maintain our... It's really... it's. <sighs> I want to say privacy, I want to say freedom, but it just comes down to having confidence in your ability to navigate these systems without having to compromise your integrity, your beliefs, or having to be forced into a situation that you don't want to participate in in the beginning. So a uh, big thing, decentralized, fi decentralized finance and the key pillars that made it all possible. Um, there are restrictions. There are differences between the public and the private blockchains that we need to navigate as humanity. Um, me personally, I look at having my entire Bitcoin balance on the public blockchain, just like I would have my bank account balance on Facebook. It's nobody's business but mine, right? It's not that I'm trying to hide anything, but it's security i mean someone knows you have that much money they're incentivized to come and take it from you we want to learn how to protect ourselves as well as a big thing you know being able to pass that wealth on for generations without compromising ourselves in those steps so understanding how to navigate that space is super important uh growing your understanding of the difference between centralized exchange and decentralized exchange and the re restrictions or the benefits of each and how to balance those um the big thing is can we trust them, right? Is there someone leading that exchange that is proven to be leading with integrity, that is morally responsible and someone that we could have a coffee with, so to speak, and not be too upset about? 
So navigating the DEX is in decentralized swaps, how to use pancake swap or BSC network, which is the easiest to learn, navigate, and then transitioning those skills into the more advanced um, strategies as we evolve. So peer to peer methods, a uh, big thing that we use right now to get cash, to convert cash, pay our bills, how to use the tools and strategies available to us in the most effective manner. Uh, convenience is great. I do use bank accounts, but I don't keep anything in them personally. So that's where, you know, send enough cash just to pay your bills, do what you need to do, and then decentralize. You know, don't have everything in one bank account, for instance. So uh, decentralized economy has never been easier. This is where gift cards really paved the way, but being able to pay for things with Monero, with Bitcoin, you know, not having to even deal with the banks or credit cards or fiat currencies at all is the future for me personally. I'm very excited to get into the Bitcoin standard. And uh, that's also where we need to learn to navigate the public and private blockchains, uh, the explorers, the tools and everything. Um, Monero has been one that we do get a lot of questions on, so we've included that as well. Uh, there's ways to use exchanges that have no registration, no sign up, purely privacy protected, and participate in the crypto economy with being regulatory compliant. Right. So it's when we get into the traditional finance that we have to deal with regulators. Uh, this is the best place to come and learn about DeFi, how to protect your privacy, and then you can take it to the more advanced from there. So one last course to rip through here quick. So this one is the work in progress, but NFTs, if you're not familiar, are taking the world by storm. It's the real applications that I get excited about. Tokenized real estate is one that opens up a whole new world of opportunities and can help alleviate a lot of the issues that we see here in Mexico or local countries. We see it in Canada and Vancouver, you know, um, everywhere where one person can't necessarily buy some of these properties anymore. They are so far overvalued, but we can, as a community, come in, buy these assets, share them without compromising our identity, and say, rent out those assets for a profit and have that paid directly to our wallet rather than needing bank accounts or having to go through Airbnb, for instance, who charges 30% tax on every dollar that you make through that. So this is the same kind of thing for music and music artists or music or people that work in the music industry where 99% of the money goes to the album covers or the uh, people that are running some of that stuff, right? Rather than the musicians, the people that are producing the music themselves. So this is the same kind of thing. You know, Nico, I think knows firsthand art and video content creation. If you make something and post it to Facebook, it is no longer your content, right? Whereas NFTs, real provable digital ownership can tie that back to you. So if you haven't seen Nico's art pieces on uh, OpenSea, it's definitely worth taking a look. So um, this is where things get really cool. And this is definitely the beginning for NFTs, where we are literally providing real digital ownership. So it can be music, real world items like uh, real estate or ATMs even, uh, digital items like weapons and skins and video games, and the list goes on and on and on. So we are able to effectively monetize our passion and generate various additional income streams that can evolve that expensive hobby into a full-time cryptopreneur career. We are going to be bringing out a lot more content um, and just enhancing what we've already established over the last, I think it's been six months now already, Justin. So a lot more to come and then collaborations between the products and the courses as well. So how to take what we learn at DeFi, how do we take what we learn at UTC and DTM and make it all into one powerhouse portfolio. So this is really coming full circle. Um, the next big steps are just Web3. So a lot more to come. Uh, the big thing is listening to the feedback, you know, DeFi is a waterfall experience and not always easy to digest. So taking what we can um, implement immediately to maximize the benefits. Uh, we were talking a little bit about travelers, you know, friends, family coming down from other countries and getting cash, for instance, where they're paying a 40% tax on every dollar that they withdraw, not visible when they withdraw it but you look at the conversion rate the currency so instead of 14 to 1 canadian dollars or pesos to canadian dollars they're getting nine and a half 
for instance, right? So just having this knowledge can save you that, whether you're a traveler or you're building you know, a homestead, uh, there's a lot that we can do to bridge the traditional world, you know, that physical world with the digital and start living the best of both lives.